Okay guys, so here's a quick guillotine prevention strategy. If I'm on bottom from half guard, <clears throat> Andrew's trying to go for the guillotine. He either cranks from here and tries to finish me or maybe he drops to his hip and pulls me on top and then finishes me from there. So anytime you're stuck in a guillotine, you have to think the reason the guillotine works is because your chin is dropping, right? So it could be as simple as keeping your posture and not letting your chin drop or getting your posture broke. When I'm playing half guard in some way and I feel like maybe he leaps over to try to get me, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna elongate so my back is straight, my spine is straight, and I'm not twisted in any way. And in fact, instead of grabbing his wrist, I keep my arms down. Now from here, because he dropped his hip, I'm gonna just follow him over. So my legs are gonna kick. My bottom leg pulls, top leg kicks. My arm here is sort of pinning his leg so he can't escape it. So as I kick, push with this arm over. You can see he's falling. Then this leg that escapes, we pull on top, reposition, whether you get out of the guillotine or the half guard, you may not get it clean, but at least you're not getting choked. So again, from bottom, half, I'm playing in some way, he leaps over, my arms go down, my head is up, push, this leg can help me get up, over, and out. And the key is, with nobody on top of me, when I'm playing, when he goes for my head, I'm getting my posture straight, my head up, my chin up, my arms are down, not grabbing. You know, when you grab their wrists, your chin comes down, you break your own posture. Up, and then you're able to get up, be on top. Keep moving forward. Ah! If I didn't duck, that would've got me. I can't wait to replay. Dude, if I didn't duck, that would have snapped my neck. So you're like, I almost died. I almost died. <laughs>